Oh boy. Change clothes in three, two, one. That's looking a lot better. Hair's looking a little funny too. There we go. Hey guys, what's up? Today's um, episode is going to be about my new room and I'm gonna to be touring it for you guys and as well, making some B-roll, so here we go. I think I was embarrassing with them, wasn't I? Starting from when you walk in, you're going to um, be seeing this picture frame or when I walk in. Every single day after school, I'm going to see this lighthouse picture that I took at Cape Cod. And I really like this picture because it just reminds me of when I went there. As well as I like the color scheme where it is a, I used a LUT pack that made this white a little more orange and then the background teal. Then I've got this mirror to just view myself, just to see my outfits and how I'm dressed in the morning as well as fixed up my hair if there's anything wrong with it. Now moving up here, we've got this shelf. Um, I'm gonna probably put some trophies up here and a little bit of decor. Now moving on, um, I have room for these picture frames, so I'm gonna be getting a third one eventually. This is another one of my works where I was in Wisconsin and I really liked this photo of a marker that I took a picture of and then I also did a little bit of a tone adjustment just to make it a little bit more flat. Um, moving on to the next one, this is from Chicago and when I went into a park I took a nice picture with a little bit of a lens flare. Um, this just nice architecture and getting this uh, nice lens flare and then a little bit of greenery. Moving on to the next picture frame, it's a collage of this one was from when I was in um, Toronto, Canada and this one was from when I was in Chicago on this trip. Um, this is a picture of a snow owl that I took a picture of when I was um, doing an earth science project in the 8th grade at um, Jones Beach State Park in on Long Island. That's where I live. And then this is a picture of me when I went to Dumbo for the episode um, for the second vlog that I ever did. And I went with my friend Craig. Here's a picture of Niagara Falls. Um, and I just really liked the way it looked. I did a little bit of tone adjustment as well. I liked how it had this rainbow arc on it. It was a nice rainy day to give me that nice rainbow arc. And as well as during the winter, as you can see, there was some snow. And it had this lush green color that I enjoyed. Then moving on to this one was a piece of um, graffiti art that is on a subway uh, train. And I thought that it was just really interesting. Um, just the people's graphic design on the graffiti. And I enjoyed it. So I took a picture of it and then I put it in uh, Photoshop and I tuned up a little bit to get rid of some of the noise because it was a dark day, it was a little overcast. And that's where I got that photo. Here's from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And it was um, one of the top floors where they have a bunch of covers of the Rolling Stone magazines. And I thought it looked really cool, so I snapped a shot of it and I did a little bit of it playing around with the colors. And I got it more to a flat red and bl um, blue type of vibe. And I like the way it came out, so I put it in here, this collage. This is the um, final one from when I was at my cousin's wedding. It's actually supposed to be not in this orientation, but I over accounted for the amount of um, frames that would be horizontal, so I accidentally printed this one and it should have been vertical. Um, I like this one because it just reminds me of when my cousin Derek got married. If he's watching this, shout out to him. That was, um, I believe, last year. Now, moving on to my setup right here for editing. I have my on the go laptop where if I'm not home, I can edit on. Then I have my desktop tower right here. It's currently underneath my desk, my two backpacks. This is my camera bag that I keep in the corner back there. And then I have this backpack that I use for school. Cables management could be approved on a little bit. Ha, look at my agenda, I never use that. Moving on to my actual desk setup. I have this um, Logitech 
G502 uh, Orient Spectrum gaming mouse, which I don't game on anymore, unfortunately. And I have this Razer keyboard as well as this um, ASUS monitor that's 144 hertz. Has pretty decent um, color for when I'm color grading as well as editing. It gives me enough real estate. I edit on uh, Adobe Premiere up there. And yeah, this is my desk. It's an L shape so I can fit my laptop as well as my complete editing setup. And sometimes I have schoolwork on here so it gives me enough real estate for that. Then I have my Nintendo Switch over there which I unfortunately don't really use that much in a fan because this is my biggest fan in the room. <laughs> they also have this other shelf that I put up. It's uh, the LAC shelving unit from Ikea. And I just have this as a little display for my hats. Um, I might put some sneakers up here or something. Not sure yet, but going to make this a nice center display piece right here. I just currently have some hats on there. A bunch of Vineyard Vines hats and this Mets hat because I love the Mets. And here's my dresser for wherever I get my clothes. I have some gym and athletic clothes on top. Got my other pieces here, just some t-shirts and some long sleeves in here. Then I've got my jogger pants and usually keep shorts in here, but they're in storage because it's the winter time slash fall time, but it's really winter in New York and it's really cool. And then I have all my other pants down here. These are like my button up tip pants right there. Laundry basket, <laughs> garbage can. Oh wait, actually it's not my garbage can. That is uh, my twin trash because that's what I am. Um, moving on to my <laughs> humongous bed. Not really. It's not humongous. Moving on to my bed right here. Nice big bed for myself because I need to get sleep for forever. I wish I could sleep forever, but I can't. I've got my nightstand here. I uh, keep my phone here, my AirPods here, and it's all my fragrances as well as deodorant and stuff. And I just have this bracelet that I wear a lot and then a ring in there. And... This home phone, which wakes me up in the middle of the night because sometimes it will start saying that I need to charge it or somebody just calls the house, which is really annoying. So whoever calls the house, like, please stop calling the house when I'm trying to sleep. And then I've got my closet in here. This is where I keep all of my hoodies and sweatshirts and outerwear. And then I have some more t-shirts and dress shirts as well as some belts in there. And then I have this bookcase where I keep my main speaker and then my two other speakers. I also have my picture frames from when I was a baby, as well as a bunch of pictures from in here. A little sneak peek, I don't know, so a bunch of stuff. Moving down, I've got some art supplies there. All my hair products. Obviously, I know that my coach, Mr. Weber, also known as the librarian of my school, the best one ever. This is what I use Mr. Weber to style my hair in the morning. These three products. Got my microphone in there that doesn't work for this camera. And uh, just some boxes. Then I have all my prep books for classes and all that good stuff for school. Oh, I also have this vacuum that I'm supposed to take out of my room um, from when I cleaned it. But yeah, otherwise, this is my complete room tour. Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you enjoyed the B-roll, make sure you like and share the video. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you like this type of content. Anyways guys... Have an excellent rest of your day. See you in the next one.